Wow, I have chills. That is Tyler Glenn of Neon Tree singing and in studio with me right now, the pianist. You know him. I've played your music, Paul Cardall, who is here with me, and J.D. Netto, who is the author of the book all about Paul that we're going to be talking about. You guys, welcome. Oh, it's so, it's so good to so be good here. To have good you. To be here. I was just at the Grammys and I saw Olivia's you performance and she's just amazing. Isn't she so great? Incredible. So, well, you and her right there on the same <laughs> level. So, uh, right. JD, we're going to talk all about this book, but first, Paul, tell us about that song that we just heard that Tyler <sighs> sang. Just the opportunity to work with Tyler, you know, we're both from Utah. We've both been through some very difficult things. Mm -hmm. I wrote that song with Tyler for The Broken Miracle, which is my story about being a boy born with half a heart, trying to function, you know, you feel different, you're kind of like a misfit in society. Um, and then you, you know, how do you, how do you live and how do you deal with all those things? And uh, riding with Tyler, you know, we did some music with David Archuleta. We pretty much put a soundtrack together for the book. Wow, incredible stars. And JD has just been this incredible author of putting this all together and having the story told. So it can help a lot of families who have to deal with how do you raise kids who feel like misfits? And you know what? There's a lot of people out yeah. there that feel like a misfit in their in their own way, whatever it is. So JD, how did you and Paul come together and tell us about your your writing? This is part two. Part two, yes. So uh, I was a fan of Paul's way before the Broken Miracle was ever a thing, and uh, started following him on Instagram, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah but the power of but social media. Around when I was 20, that's when I discovered his music about okay. yeah 12 years ago. And I just fell in love with his story, and we connected over Instagram, and chatted a little bit, and met up in New York yeah. in a wow. very rainy evening. Yeah. I still remember that. I was late to the meeting. How dare you? I know. <laughs> uh, and there was just this connection, yeah. and I'm like, it would be an honor to be able to write such a powerful story, especially with that idea of the misfit belonging somewhere. And you've written so many other things prior to yeah. this. You know, Tell us about your background. Uh, yes, um, I mean, I was born in Brazil, came here when I was a kid. I've always loved stories. And I released my first book in 2012. Wow. Uh, it was a fantasy series, and ever since. How old were you in 2012? I was 24. Wow, good for 24, you. 24, yeah. Good for so you. It's been so a while. You're taking this this story, the the life of Paul, but you're adding a little bit more to it, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, even the fiction part of this book was drawn from reality. Mm -hmm. It was very important to me to honor the truth. Uh, it's a journey I've always respected, mm -hmm. um, and it was important to me to be as authentic as possible and to listen to him and to be a part of this journey with him was incredible. Well, absolutely. And yeah. Paul, I mean, your your journey, you had that, when you did have your heart transplant, you had this survivor guilt after. Yeah, spoiler alert, mm -hmm. spoiler alert, in the book, you know, I get a heart transplant, but what is that like to have your heart taken from you? Wow. Because yeah. it's broken, Never thought about it. it's scarred, it's damaged, and yet we've come up with the, enough information and knowledge, God's given this information and knowledge to doctors, they put the heart of another person, an organ donor, into my chest and raised me from the dead. Well, everyone ex you know, talks about faith precedes a miracle. What about after the miracle? What happens when everyone expects you to live up to the miracle that God mm. gave you? Wow. How does that affect relationships? What happens in your marriage? You know, what does Everything. the future look like? All of that. And I wanted to make that available to people because there are so many misconceptions and misunderstandings of what it's like to be different and misunderstood. What a story. So part one, if you've <laughs> read it, very different than this one, you're going yeah. to really dive deep into the emotions. And JD, I'm looking forward to reading this. So you have a book signing tonight. Where can we, we find you? We do. We're going to be at the Barnes & Noble in Layton. Okay. We're very excited about that. And and even if you don't come get the book and you've got CDs or anything like that that you've got from Fun. my catalog, bring it. I'd love to sign it, get some pictures with you, and 
be a lot of fun tonight. Fantastic. Well, we're hearing even more of that music underneath your interview. <laughs> it's just incredible. So, uh, you two, such a pleasure to Thank you. have you in studio and you. looking forward to this. And Again, if you it. want to get it, it is The Broken Miracle. You're seeing it right there. You can go to thebrokenmiracle.com for more information. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, JD. Thanks.